All right, so today uh, I want to talk about uploading your own cards, uh, whether that be some proxies um, or some cards that you find missing, or if you just want your own custom set of cards. Uh, I want to talk about uploading those and importing those into Tabletop Simulator. So um, first, you probably want to go to Steam, go to Tabletop Simulator, and then kind of move things around, manage, browse local files. That will take you to folder that Tabletop Simulator, simulator uh, lives in, and there's a folder called modding. You go on in there, there's also a folder called deck builder, and there's this .exe in here, which is the application that lets you build a deck. So this is what that will look like. And you can click new deck. Um, unless you're creating um, really small kind of decks, like a, a couple of cards or whatever, uh, leaving it on the max 10 by seven is just fine most of the time. It is recommended that you put all of your cards into one file as much as possible. Uh, if you have more than 69 cards, of course, uh, you'll end up with more than one file, but um, 69 cards per deck, and then you have an extra for the hidden face of the card. So once you have the deck builder open, you'll want a file explorer. Uh, this can be a little bit different to be Finder, I guess, in Mac. Um, but you want your file explorer here, and you want to go to the folder where you keep your proxies or cards, and find all the cards that you want to upload. So I'm going to grab all of these cards here. I like them all. Actually, not all because that's too many. Um, when you select them all, let's say down here in the corner, I have 65 selected. I'll go ahead and import these. Drag and drop those into the deck builder. And it puts them all there. Um, and now also this 70th slot, like I was saying, is the hidden face. So that's what it will show if a card is flipped over in someone's hand. Um, so that the person, the the rest of the people playing don't see that card. So I have a card back file that I use. I place that there. Um, you can click and drag any of these around. You do want to keep your blank spaces all at the end. Uh, see, we have 65 cards here. Um, you can click any of these. You can delete. Control Z will undo that. Uh, if you left click and then right click another card, it will swap those positions. Um, so I'll click this one and right click down here and it'll swap that and put it at the beginning. Uh, and then I can Control Z to undo that. So lots of ways you can organize this. Um, now what you want to do is go ahead and go to export. Um, tabletop Simulator recommends a max file width and height of uh, 4096 pixels. Um, larger does work. Some people might have an issue with it, but um, another mod uh, uses 49,000, so I just use that. Uh, if you leave this checked, it will resize whatever you put in here. So you could put the 4096. Um, but if you don't, it will export that at the original size of all the cards. Uh, and these are high quality scans. So the file is pretty large. You don't want that. So I'm going to put in the 4096, export, um, create a folder here, just say test. Oh, that says test. Test. Go in there, test. Um, some people did have problems with uh, PNG files, so JPEG, uh, either one seemed to work for me, but if you're having problems, try the JPEG export, and then just save that there. 
Uh, it is important to remember this is a 7x10 grid and we have 65 cards. So actually what I like to do is go ahead and go into the test folder. And I like to name mine with uh, underscore 10 by 7 underscore 65 cards, just so I'm sure what my grid everything is set up to be. Um, so now we can go ahead and launch Tabletop Simulator. Play. Uh, that That's pretty much it for creating the deck. Uh, if you had more cards than the 69, it would go ahead and create um, multiple deck deck tabs um, that you could work with there. Create single player. So now we can go to, just close this, go to objects. Uh, we can type in cards up here, card, and we can just go with a custom deck. Drop that in there. And it will give you the options here. So your face file, you want to go find that. We had it in the test. And we'll go ahead and if you, if you want to play with friends and stuff uh, and have them play on your file or in your game with you, you will need to click the cloud option. Um, but if you're just testing stuff locally, local works, go ahead and hit cloud and then upload. Unique backs can stay off. We want the rectangle rounded for Pokemon cards. And then the back, we want to go to folder that I have with card back, push card back, cloud, upload that as well. 10 wide, seven uh, tall. And we had cards that we have 65, right? Five cards. Uh, and import. As you can see here, we have the deck. We can right click, search. All the cards that were in the deck. Looks like they're all there. Then close this. <clears throat> uh, we can also flip. We can R to shuffle them up. And if you want to put these, this deck into other games, um, say you have another mod that you want to put these in, you can just right click and go down to save object, name it, test cards, and in, if you go to, let's say, we'll load up the Rami King Pokemon TCG mod, takes a minute. Once that is loaded, we can go to our objects, saved objects, look for test cards and just drop that right into the game. And we have our cards, uh, our proxies for testing future formats, uh, et cetera. So I hope you guys liked the video and it helped you out a lot. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. Uh, forward it to your friends if it helps them. I'd like to see more people playing. Uh, Tabletop and Tabletop Simulator for Pokemon. It's really fun, really interactive. It gets you in the hang of playing uh, in real life if you're not used to that kind of environment. Um, also, I will link a video down in the description if you guys would like to upload your own um, mods into the workshop, your own sets of cards uh, for other people to share and import into their games. I'll leave a link. Um, Berserk Games has a pretty, pretty straightforward tutorial on helping you get that sorted out. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.